So, you know, here's the first step really, starting to lay in the harnesses. And the machine runs five CAN bus networks for the ECUs. You so can I'm really see how complicated it is now. Well, I mean, I must admit, it looks quite elegant and simple when you see it like that. Yeah. But when there's two kilometres of cabling here in the cab. You're joking. <laughs> you know, we've got half a dozen ECUs really controlling the tractor, controlling the transmission, controlling the hydraulics, the vehicle functions, and then of course the armrest in itself is another ECU in itself. The HVAC unit, the aircon unit, and the heater unit's been bolted in That's under the floor. That's under there. Yeah. Right. That's blowing air up, up and then uh, under the floor and then up the front console. And then out of those vents. So with the roof now, what we're doing is we're assembling that now off the track. In, in years gone by, we'd have assembled the headliner from inside. Yeah. But now we're assembling it off the track with this roof upside down. We can neatly lay the harnesses in. We can assemble the, uh, the fresh air ducting into the roof. You know, we've got the electrics in, the radio in, the speakers in, the lighting in. The GPS modules are in, and then that roof's ready to flip over and just drop on top of the cab. There's frame. a lot in the roof now, isn't there? Yeah. There's a lot. lot going on in the roof. Yeah. More than you probably think. Yeah, it's a complete set of harnesses in itself. So, you know, that that roof harness is connecting up to the to the rest of the cab loom. Yeah. With this connector here. That's it. It's just another example of that sort of modular build philosophy. You know, get this bit right in its own stage, and then marry it up to the main cab frame, rather than sticking a roof on there and trying to shove things. Uphill. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 